Okay, so I'm going to talk to you today about installing Docker on Windows and how we're going to take advantage of that um, for a server. So I've already got Windows, I mean, I've already got Docker in um, the exe in executed and installed. Be sure to read this. There's a couple of important features here uh, that you're going to want to make sure you understand. Now, right out of the gate, when I try to start Docker, I get errors. Um, as you can see here, um, they can be a little bit confusing if um, you don't know what you're looking for. But uh, it took me a little bit of a while to figure out everything. So we're going to talk about how to make sure everything is working correctly for your Windows installation. So the very first thing is we need to make sure virtualization is enabled. So I'm just going to check out my CPU. And as you can see, it's enabled here. I actually enable that later in the video, but if you don't have that enabled, we'll talk about that later. So let's enable the Hyper-V. So Hyper-V, uh, we're just gonna open up command prompt and go ahead and just type in this command. I will put it in uh, the description for you and just click enter and that will uh, install all the Windows features for you. You can also enable virtualization and Hyper-V from the Windows uh, Features UI if you want to do it that way as well. The next thing is we need to actually boot into our BIOS and enable virtualization if you don't have that already. Here I show one way how to do it. Just look it up. Okay, so the next thing here is we need to actually make sure uh, WSL2 is installed. Uh, the UI says that it installs it, but it straight up lies to you. It doesn't actually install it. So. Uh, I just clicked on that link and it brought me to this uh, documentation for Windows. I'm simply going to go through it. Uh, the first thing is downloading the MSI and uh, executing that and then installing it onto uh, my computer. You can just click through um, everything in the UI. There's nothing, there's nothing really you need to uh, customize there. So with that installed, uh, we're just going to continue down and we're going to make sure that that final command is run here. So I'm going to copy and paste that into a PowerShell, but make sure that PowerShell is run as administrator. In fact, all, all these commands, if you have to run one, make sure it's run as administrator. Okay, and that will take care of our WSL2. We're going to click restart. For me, it didn't do anything, but it might do something for you. And that should allow you to make your uh, Docker, um, the Docker UI, UI um, not throw errors on you. So just got to wait for that to start. And when that starts, feel free to go through the tutorial here if you're new to Docker. That could be very vi valuable to you. For me, I'm, I'm a pro at it. So I'm just going to make sure things are working. Uh, so I'm going to open up command prompt and just run a, a series of test commands here. We're going to get into this a little bit later in some of the other videos. Uh, make sure you do allow this for private networks uh, as we're going to be testing that locally and we do need that. But we'll get into all this a little bit later. Uh, for you, uh, this is all you really need to see in order to get things uh, working properly for you. Uh, once you're at this point, Docker is installed and you're ready to get going. So we could talk about that more in depth in um, our future videos here. 